Alright, so I've been doing a lot of striping with my Checkmate Lawn Striping Kit. Uh, in this video, which I rec recorded earlier in the year, I'm using my Do-It-Yourself Kit. Now, it's basically a mix between the Checkmate and the Toro, and I'll tell you why. The Toro, it's basically a tube filled with sand. My Do-It-Yourself Kit is just a PVC pipe filled with sand. The Toro is hooked on to a pivot point in the back, so it's pretty easy to turn. Um, but the do-it-yourself kit is more like the Checkmate, where it's got um, uh, pieces of metal on the ends going straight. So there's no pivot point. Now, with the Checkmate, they use a very solid steel plate, so there's no wiggle room. But with my do-it-yourself kit, uh, the only downside to it is that it will bend a bit when you're turning. So if you're going to make your own kit, the only thing I suggest doing different is the uh, end pieces to make sure they're a nice thick chunk of uh, steel instead of the flimsy material that I use. But all in all, it's still a good kit. It stripes pretty well. Um, you know, you can get more weight out of it if you use a bigger tube. That's something that both the Checkmate and the Toro have as a downfall. You, you can't really add more weight. So if you're going to do it yourself, you could make it, a, you know, go for a 4-inch tube instead of a 3-inch tube, and then you'd have that much more weight, and you'd get that much better stripes. Uh, another change I would make, if you look, I used end caps for the pipe. I didn't realize that you could get caps that were inside the pipe, so look for those as well, then it'll give a little bit... Uh, cleaner uh, stripe but overall I mean you can't go wrong and you can build this pretty cheap and I mean I've thought about getting different things like lead weights to fill it with which would make it a lot heavier and the same amount of uh, tubing than sand so you can do a lot more playing with a do-it-yourself kit and you can save some money and it's you know still a good thing I just personally i I like the Checkmate now that I have. I feel like it's solid. It works good for me. So um, I stopped fiddling with the do-it-yourself kits. But I don't know. After watching this video, I'm kind of feeling like I got to start coming up with better striping kits again because that was really fun. Now, of course, if you're comparing these video clips to the other clips, you have to remember at this time in the renovation in my lawn, it was actually being cut much shorter. If you cut at the full four inches, it's going to have much more pronounced stripes. But you have to weigh the pros and cons with that. Um, you know, right now we're doing cooler weather and we've been having tons of rain. So um, having the, the lawn be saturated with water constantly isn't a good thing right now so you know you do what you can and have the best stripes for uh, what you can do right now
liked my video, be sure to subscribe. If you want to see me kill my old, beautiful, amazing lawn off to make you guys these videos, click the left video. If you want to see how I spread peat moss, click on the right one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.